is nothing like a black model on the runway. This is the Black Girls Coalition. If it wasn't for them, we would have been overlooked. We can't move forward without black creativity. The new generation, they want a revolution. How oh, can you not love this melanin? We're not going back to the old days. Just one token model. Supreme Models, the documentary, is the first of its kind chronicling the impact of black models on fashion and culture. Author Marcellus Reynolds and supermodel Veronica Webb join us now with more. Welcome, you guys. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Good morning. Look what the cat dragged in. Uh, no, I, I, you don't look like human dragging here. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having us. I gotta ask, as you watched the documentary, my first question is, what was it like being a model back then? Mm. Was it? Did you feel... It was so mysterious. Okay. It was so, like, I was so surprised and overwhelmed that I actually was able, because this is before the internet, yeah. like to figure out how to get from my parents' couch in Detroit to a runway in Paris. That was pretty mm. amazing. Yeah. Um, I didn't know anything, so it was totally terrifying. Um, and a huge learning curve. But at the same time, you know, the money, the exposure, everything like changed my circumstances, changed my family's circumstances. And so, you know, for all the struggles, I also got to be one of the luckiest people in the world. Mm -hmm. Because my follow up to Amy's question to you would be, do you think it's easier for models now? I think it's easier now because, you know, we have the internet and we have so much information and we have documentaries like Supreme mm -hmm. Models and books <laughs> like Supreme Models written by my wonderful friend Marcellus Reynolds yes. as yes. a love letter mm -hmm. to history, to black models, to black women. Marcellus. Yeah, yeah let's talk about that, Marcellus. What, how did, how did black models change the fashion, fashion industry? Well, I feel like black models made the industry more diverse mm -hmm. just by being there. Mm -hmm. And they changed the standard of beauty. You know, it wasn't this European standard of beauty. It opened the door to black models, Asian models, Latino mm -hmm. models, dark-haired models, mm -hmm. because blondes used to, you know, rule the roost back then. Yeah. And it just sort of changed the, the, the definition of beauty and made every woman feel that she could be beautiful when she saw someone that that look like her. And the impact of the black model specifically is when she opens the door, she holds the door open to other mm -hmm. people. So she allows the Asian model, the Latino mm -hmm. model, the plus size model to come in. It's like once she's there, it's like now we can let everyone in. Yeah, and Marcellus, um, the book was first, and the then first. When, when did you think, okay, I, I can't, it can't just be the book. I've now got to do a documentary. And I tell you that the book was so hard to produce that there was a moment where I was like, I'm going to let go of the idea of the book and I'm going to pitch the book idea as a documentary because I was living in LA and I was pitching shows mm -hmm. anyway. So I was very clear on the idea that there could be a show that profiled black models. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking it would just be like one model each episode. And look what happened. Well, the yeah. book happened. finally happened and then the book became a documentary. Did you notice when you were doing runway work that fashion designers started pivoting their fashions to also tailor black models that I never really noticed um, you know we had a beautiful explosion in the 90s yeah. and you know it was very inclusive in terms of women of color and then suddenly we all disappeared mm. which is known in fashion and there's an episode in the documentary dedicated to it called the whiteout season yeah. where anyone who was curvy anybody who was brown anybody who had too much personality on the runway was eliminated yeah. And so, you know, it's been a struggle that was led by Beth Ann Hardison, who's featured in the documentary, as well as Iman, you know, to really say to the fashion world, hey, you know, we need people of different sizes, ages, races, you know, preferences, orientation, because that's the real world. Fashion touches everybody. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You've got a big event coming up. Why tonight. is this so, tonight. yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I'm Chicago born and raised, mm -hmm. Chicago's mm -hmm. very own, and I love coming home to my city. So, and I'm a museum boy, and part of the books is the history. Yeah. I want people to understand the history, the legacy. You can see what someone else did, the struggle and the triumph, and that can be a road map for you. And so that's why it's so important tonight to do something at the Chicago History Museum, which is so specific to Chicago, yeah. and it's very unique, very beautiful history. So I'm just honored to 
to be here. And yeah. I bought this beautiful <laughs> one here. And talk about the line of people who are joining you. Yeah. You guys have a lot of people. Oh my God. Um, oh my Desiree God. Rogers, mm -hmm. who, another Chicagoan. Yeah. Yes. Ikram. Ikram, mm -hmm. who owns Ikram, the clothing oh, store is yep. going to be here. Danny Dunson, who is the curator at the DuSabo Museum, which is one of my favorite yes. museums, which is the first museum I ever went to Aww. as a little black boy who grew up on the South Side. He's going to be on the panel. It's going to be kind of, I'm actually more excited about the people on the panel and hearing their <laughs> stories than I am about telling my story. Oh, right. oh and I'm on the panel too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and the Chicago History Museum is fabulous and it's going to be a super glamorous event. And for the people who can't make it, you can watch the documentary on YouTube. It's free. Amazing. Oh, it's so important. It's free on YouTube. That's so it'll great. be there for everyone yes. to you said, see. You get the education yeah. out there to everybody. Thank Accessibility you is great. Yeah. Marcella, it's Veronica. Thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, Amy and Jean.